Okay, my name is Wes Adams. I'll be the instructor for the course. This is KINE 1304. This is um, a health class. So you may notice if you've ever taken an online course before, there's just a couple of links over here in the nav bar, and I did that on purpose so that everything that you need for the course is on the home page, which is the page that we're viewing now. You can also go in and look at your grades, and you can also talk to other people that are also in the class. So let's go down. If you're watching this video right now, you've clicked on the welcome link uh, video. So if you saw, it should have just said welcome, but I'm making the video right now, so it's got a little bit more information. This is required from distance education, so make sure you go through and read all this important information, especially the stuff about BioSig, so that you can get BioSig set up. And you need to go through and test it out before you take any tests in the course. So um, textbook information's on there. Um, it's also in the syllabus, but go through and do everything for this course. Below here, you'll see where it says NLC Academic Learning Support Services. Um, if you have any problems with the course, you can go through here and contact um, Distance Education. But once you get down to Module 1, that's the first module for the course. Make sure that you go through and um, that you start here because this is what's going to give you credit for attendance. So make sure that you go through the syllabus, you take the syllabus quiz. That's going to be really important for the first day. We've started doing Smart Start Drop, so if you don't um, log on by the first day, um, you'll get dropped from the course and also complete the syllabus dis discussion. But it's only information relevant to the syllabus. This one I ask you some true and false questions. They're pretty basic. It's just to prove that you've read the syllabus and that you understand it. Uh, this one is a discussion, so if you truly have any questions about the syllabus, go through and read other students' posts and post one uh, a, a question that you may have yourself. And then all the other modules will follow this format for all, all the way till the end of the semester. So you'll have a video lecture then you'll have a PDF that goes through and, and discusses the major issues and then you'll have a self-test over that information so do the self-test you can print it out as a PDF do that before you do the quiz because I'll choose questions from the self-test for the graded quiz now this one will have at most 40 questions and I'll typically choose 10 questions from that uh, so Go through, do the self-test, use the PDF um, PowerPoint, and use the video and also the book to answer these questions. And then once you have them all answered, study that information, then take the self-test quiz. And then um, at the end, you'll have a discussion. So the very end, here's a discussion on mental health and stress. And all the other modules follow that same format. So just make sure that you go through here and um, follow that same format where you watch the video. On the videos, um, I tend to go over the most important information, but it's not all the information, so go into the PowerPoints and get more specifics out of that. If you still need more information, then go refer back to your book as a reference. Um, and then when you're doing the self-test, you're pro probably going to have to use not only the book, but the, the PowerPoints and the videos to answer those questions. And then you'll take a graded quiz and discussions. And again, all the modules will have the same information in that same format until we get down to the midterm. And once we get to the very end of the class, you'll also see um, some projects that are due. But we'll discuss those later on. So again, this is uh, KINE 1304. My name is Wes Adams. Make sure that you go through, read the syllabus, and do everything in Module 1. And also make sure that you do um, the module that Distance Ed has set up for you that first week. So I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in future videos.